Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video we've got another unboxing from the cubicle.us. Looks like we've got some more uh, interesting puzzles in here. The boxes are a bit um, mashed up, but that's not a big deal. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to go ahead and get started with what looks like a um, Master Morphix. So this is from Chi, and let's open it up. The box kind of is already open. Okay, so the first thing I notice about this puzzle is the shape. This is definitely more of a Rouleau shape, or just more rounded. It's just not quite the same shape as the normal Master Morphix. I'll compare it to a normal Master Morphix. So here is a, uh, I guess just more of a standard Master Morphix. I think this is from Landlin. And so if you compare the shapes of the sides, this one is more uh, triangular, while this one over here is more curved. So. That's like the difference between the two, but this is, I guess, a new uh, Master Morphix from Chi. It's got the same kind of shades as like from the Warrior W, as well as like this new 2x2 two two I just got. Uh, it's, you know, similar type of shades, but this one actually feels a little bit better because um, the pieces aren't quite as matte. It's still, it's still a little bit matte, but it's a little bit more glossy. I'm not sure if this is the same color scheme. For some reason, it seems different. Um, yeah. Yeah, so these two colors here are switched, and that, that's why it was looking a little bit odd to me. Anyways, if you guys don't know anything about the Master Morphix, it's a 3x3 shape mod, and it's just a 3x3 turned into a four-sided puzzle. So, let's go ahead and do some turning. Definitely hear some spring noise, first of all. One thing I do like about this shape uh, more than the Landlin and other Master Morphix that I've tried is that the layers are a bit bigger. They're a little bit easier to grip. Wow, it's actually very, very smooth. I'm not sure what this puzzle is made out of. It might be a sail, I'm not sure. So if you guys are still a little bit confused about how this is a 3x3 shape mod, um, then we'll take a look at a face here. So this is a center piece right here. These four pieces here are edges. So one, two, three, four edges, and then one, two, three, four corners. And all the faces are the same. So they're shaped the same way. So, that means that these pieces in the middle here, while they kind of look like centers, they are actually corners, and these pieces on the edge uh, are centers. Let's go ahead and uh, give this a solve real fast. Of course, it solves just like a 3x3, although there is some hidden parity with corner orientation and stuff like that that can be a little bit of a pain to deal with. So, um, hopefully we get lucky and we don't have to deal with it, because I'm not sure if I remember how to do it. Um, doesn't really matter what side we start on. I'll just start with green and yellow here, and... We'll insert some cross pieces. You want to make sure that the centers all line up here. So then, insert that one. Uh, we'll need a green piece here that goes there. I don't think I scrambled this too well, actually. It seems like all these pieces are falling into place quite easily. So then we'll put in the corners. Um, and we just need one more over here. There we go. So now we have our face. Now we can put in the middle layer pieces. So this one can come down to here. And then, let's see. And then we can place in an actual blue piece. So then we can put in this yellow piece, and then the green one. So, wait, no, it'll go this way. <laughs> Let's make sure, yeah, all right, so now we just have to switch these two um, edges. So, let see if we can get that to happen. I'm, oh man. Um, Actually, I think these two actually need to be oriented as well. Could be wrong about that, but yeah, this looks more correct. Oh wait, never mind. Um, I do actually need to. Um, I, d I didn't need to orient those. So one more time. There we go. So, hopefully, uh, all of these corners go in all right. This is where the parity can occur. Um, yay, it looks like we didn't get it. That's, um, that's great. So, 
This actually may look like a parody, but it isn't one um, because, of course, only one of the corners is rotated. But uh, these corners can be rotated anyway. So if this one's rotated, it just means this one needs to rotate as well. So if we rotate this corner to be solved, we can then just bring over this one that's um, doesn't have any orientation and just finish out the algorithm. There we go. So Master Morphix, pretty fun solve, and it handles very well. I really like the shape, I really like the colors, and the way it moves. It's very quiet, very smooth. Uh, nice puzzle. Let's check out the uh, other puzzle in here. So real quick, looking at the box, it says it has a Mega Minx on here, but it also says 3x3. Three three. So I'm not sure what this is. Oh wait, oh yeah, 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 okay. Okay, never mind. I do know what this is. This is the uh, the new Pearl Mega Minx from Shangshao. So, this is a bit of a different packaging, but we'll go ahead and check this out. It looks like we got white, which uh, is not my preferred color, but um, who knows, maybe they don't have black in stock yet. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to complain about it because I don't really care too much when it comes to Mega Minx because I don't solve it too much. Looks like we got a little piece of flash right there. Just taking a look around the puzzle. The pieces are very oddly shaped. It, it seems like the stickers are like dipping down. Yeah, 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 okay, so I can see it. Um, the ridges, it looks like the ridges don't actually protrude outwards from the puzzle, but all of the pieces kind of dip down at the corner um, with a ridge that's kind of left. So, yeah, that gives it a really weird feeling. It feels somewhere in the middle between like, like a concave type puzzle, like a rounded puzzle, and a puzzle that has ridges. It's really strange, actually. I've never felt a Mega Minx quite like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do some turning. Oh, that's pretty nice. Wow, that's, I actually quite like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's, um, moves very smoothly. It's not as smooth as other shank shell puzzles, so it's not quite so buttery and everything. Like, it's got a bit of a crunch to it when you turn it, but yeah, there's, it's quite speedy. It seems to move very quickly. And I'm not having any trouble with grip, really, so that's a great thing. Yeah, this is not a bad Mega Minx. Uh, let's try corner cutting. Okay, so corner cutting isn't fantastic, but it's there. And then reverse. Looks like it has a fair amount of reverse. The pieces are quite rounded, so it looks like the corners especially are very uh, curvy. I'm going to go ahead and check out the mechanism. So... All right, immediately I'm reminded of the uh, just the original Shangshao mechanism, so I assume this is just like, you know, a modification of it. Oh, don't go flying. Here we go. So I can't see it super well on the white background with the white pieces, but um, here you go. Here's what the mechanism looks like on the corner and on the edge. The edge especially reminds me a lot of the original but the corner seems to be pretty uh, pretty different. I see another little bit of flash right there on the center. I hope there's not a whole lot of flash throughout the puzzle. All right, well, other than that, I, I don't really know what more to say about this Mega Minx. I mean, it turns really nicely. It's, you know, it definitely could use a little bit of lube, but it feels like it, it could be a nice Mega Minx. I'm not much of a Mega Minx solver. I'm pretty horribly slow at Mega Minx. So there's not a huge amount I can really say on this puzzle in terms of performance. I mean, it turns nicely and it seems to be speedy and fast. Just from turning the puzzle, it seems like it could definitely be a viable uh, speed Mega Minx if you're looking for one. Anyways, that's all that was in the package. I didn't know these puzzles were coming. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these puzzles and you enjoyed this video. If you guys would like to purchase these, I'll leave the links in the description where you can buy them from the cubicle. Thanks to the cubicle for making this video possible. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. Links to all of my social media and my Patreon are down in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.